Did I hear you right? I mean, is this a concession? Are you saying that Matt might be the right person for me? Well, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Aha. Uh -huh. Progress. Progress. Yes, I'll uh, take it. I just, I don't want to see you... Get her. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, just pretend that you have some faith in me and that uh, I might know what I'm doing. Come on, take a little leap of faith. I took a big leap. Look what happened. <laughs> I broke my leg. Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks. Sit down. <laughs> what happened on your date last night? Well, it was terrible. That's what happened. It was a disaster. <laughs> oh. I don't know. They brought her the wrong food, and I tried to get her the right food, and everything fell apart. She walked out. It was, it was terrible. That's it? Yeah, that's it. End of date, end of relationship. By the way, though, thanks for the help on the pants. I really appreciate it. Oh, don't mention it. Wait a minute. You're not going to just stop. I mean, just after one date, are you? Well, I really don't feel like making a fool out of myself again. I, I just... I just don't think I'm up for it, you know? Oh, I see. You don't really feel like you're up for the work that it takes to forge a connection no, with no, a new person. No, no, come on. Person. You're making it sound like I'm lazy. It's, first, you have to find the right person. Then you have to hope that there's some kind of a spark there. And if there is, you go forward with the relationship. But then you start learning about each other's idiosyncrasies, you know, these little weird things that you do that drive each other crazy. And then you start trying to change each other, and that leads to fighting. That leads to disaster. You, you, you start wondering how you ever got yourself into this in the first place. Absolutely. I mean, why take a chance? I mean, if there's one in a million chance it might work not work out don't do it it's what happens Vanessa not necessarily other things happen you know you might meet a person and at the beginning you might not even really like them very much or, or be totally indifferent and then something happens and you see things in a whole new way is that how it was with you and Matt Sort of. Out there in that sailboat, saved your life, feelings changed. None of your business. <laughs> but anyway, I think falling in love is almost always about being rescued. If only from the tedium and numbness of everyday life. Come on, you can't just stop. You started, you've gone out, you, you've met somebody, don't stop now. Maybe I like the numbness. You know you don't. Hello? Hi. Not the little weeds. I get it. Hi. As part of Cedars Hospital's at-home care program, I'm here to visit my patient, Mr. Josh Lewis. Well, come in, then. What, uh... What's in the bag? Therapy. Then your cast is comfortable. Very much so, yes. I see you're getting around easily. Pretty easily. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So now you can open your therapy package. It's not taking you or anything, is it? No, you're safe. Okay. <clears throat> what kind of therapy are you talking about exactly? What 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 is it? Uh, clown therapy of some kind? These are rejects from Barnum and Bailey? Then I Clown pants. They're happening pants. Happening pants? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are very popular with the young people uh -huh. today. Oh, young people. They work people. out in I them. They, they relax in them. If you took five seconds worth of thought, you'd see how useful they are. No, I, I'm beginning to get the picture here. This not-so-young person needs some big, baggy, goofy-looking pants to get on over his cast so he doesn't have to continue cutting up $180 pairs of pants, right? I agree with your idea of them being useful, but I don't understand the not-so-young stuff. The nurses consider you 
Prime. Prime. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, I, I really don't see myself wearing these pants, no matter how happening they are. But thank you. I see. I hope so. So that means that you probably won't consider my second proposal. Which is? It's really not a big deal. In fact, it's not a deal at all. I just thought maybe you'd want to give your leg a test run. A test run? Maybe go for a jog or something? Is that what you're suggesting? Oh, that's just a figure of speech. Uh-huh. I know that. I was just trying to say maybe um, you'd want to do something different, but still competitive. Is this some kind of a riddle? What I'm trying to say is maybe we could do something together sometime. Maybe even tonight. Tonight. Are you asking me out on a date? From Melinda. She's hardly demure. You're not interested in helping me. No, you're just out to get me. She's not exactly loved. Sheila is arrogant, manipulative, and dishonest. But she is focused. No, but he stands between me and what I want. And Sheila's only on the bold and the beautiful weekdays.